Good morning all together. Good morning from Germany. Uh, it's early and I didn't sleep well because of this little fucker. It's a um, smoke detector for your room, but when the battery went empty, it makes a slightly beep every 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I have no idea. And the problem is I have almost 10 of those in my house. Some of them, the older one, like this, and I already get new one and I put in parallel. So, yeah, I was searching this one this night because I have had no idea which one was running out of battery. Yes, that's also the reason I put those nice big tools here. I want to take it apart, show you the inside, explain a little bit how smoke detectors, especially the optical one, I guess it's an optical one because of the cheap price, work. And it annoyed me the whole night. I get out the big tools, not the small little screwdrivers I usually use. No, the big one. Easy to open everything. And when the screwdriver doesn't work, the side cutter. Also the big one. Wait, I'll show you if I find yeah, the little one. Here you see? This I usually use. Today I use this. And if this still doesn't is enough, we have this one to crack open. And when everything is not enough, we still have drills, we still have an, a hand saw, rotating saw, we have a tremor, we have all these things. So don't worry, we will get in it. That's a plastic case, so should be enough. Yeah, um, this is the case of it. I already ripped off the battery, otherwise it will still be. And I use something very usual here, a magnetic holder. Wait a second. Okay, where did I stop? I stop at the magnetic holder. So I have a metal plate at the ceiling and these are magnets. So to exchange it, I don't need to unscrew or something. I just and get it off. Uh, you see, it's very reflective. So this can I go there. Maybe I keep the magnets, they are little small magnets. So here is the thing. Um, let me zoom in for you. Uh, I think that is enough. It's the model number RM120. It's from a company called Arrow, but I think it's only rebatched from some Chinese manufacturer. I'm not sure. Then you see a standard battery clip for the 9 volt batteries. Um, yeah, this is also a keeper. I will also put this in the park bins after teardown. This is a contact to switch it on when the case is close. Or something, some mechanical thing, and yeah, that is the case. I think one, two, three latches, plastic latches, to hold the two cases together. And as promised, we get the big tool. We don't need to worry about to put it back together, just like this. Yeah, this is the funny method to rip something apart. Oh, already oh, stop. To be funny. How other people say, we are in like, yeah, me, okay? Um, yeah, one more plastic part goes there. So, what we do, we have here, uh, let me get something to point. Mm, yeah, this is not bad. This should be the optical camber, chamber with an. Um, infrared LED and a photoresistor or phototransistor. There we have the um, piezo speaker and there we have the test contact. You see, it's not a real switch. They doesn't have the effort to put a real switch. It's just a banded metal and here, uh, yeah, I think you can see it. Uh, Pritch, nothing like you use on the PCB to bridge to um, parts are two, two holes together and then the LED. This will also come on and that is the problem. It doesn't show you that the battery is empty. Only
only when it makes this beep noise. And when you have more than one, it's so shitty to find which one is the one it's out of battery. I tell you, ah, the night was terrible. So, oh, one thing, I used a small one. Could also be solar, but doesn't bother with it. Some hot snot here. Oh, I use some stain relief. Oh, this is nice. This I keep. I should sort out what I keep. Too many things. So, get a board out of the case. Hmm. You want to see this, right? Me too. I want to use it. I want to use brutal force to get in it. I want to make it fast. So, a little bit boring to be honest. Should get something more difficult to destroy. So, yeah, this is the board again. Uh, here's one little twin pot. Uh, I think this is for sensitive. Or sensor team. Um, this is the sensor and I'm pretty sure it's the optical one because it has two pairs uh, on each side it has two connectors so very usually very usual for an LED and a photo resistor or photo transistor um, one chip and cap Pfft, yeah that's almost all and the piezo. The piezo has four, three contacts. This is, I'm not sure why. Let me go further in. Of course, I can unclip, but unclipping is boring. You see, one, two, three contacts, and it goes on three places on this um, piezo disc. One, two, and the third contact up there. If someone know why this has three, I think it has something to do to make it very loud. It should be loud. It it's loud. I'm telling you, it's very loud and annoying when you want to sleep and there's no fire. Okay, so this is not a keeper. I have no use for it. All the plastic has to go. On. So maybe we can even go in more close. Yeah, that is all I can do. Oh, you see my big fingers. Sorry. Um. Just a second, okay, uh, electrolytic cap. So, are we interested in the ship? Let me see if I can read. Maybe. Uh, to be honest, wait a second. Hmm. No, can't read, no chance. Oh wait, I can put in maybe more light. We need more light. I try to get more light. Oh, I was on the wrong setting. There. How oh, we go? O S or G S C S. I'm so blind. I'm so bad sight at the moment. C S two O. Sorry for this. C S. Two one o five o o the minus m twelve from a company called Samic. I don't look for it. I just want to show you. I'm not interested in how this ship works. I think it's just a yeah, something has to do with sensing the signals to the photodiode and nothing more. And yeah, driving the piezo summer, a summer to piezo speaker, because I didn't see any transistor-like thing, so everything should be in this ship. And if you want, you can go for it and look. What does the ship do? So, coming to the main part, I could desolder, maybe use it for something or measure around. But to be honest, I'm really only want to get in it and kill it for every time. So it never, never boring me again. I think it's already stopped to do this. And which tool we doesn't use yet? This one. Yes. Let me see. 
a little bit bigger. Oh, fits so well. Yes, I should do it. Okay. Oh shit. And it goes heads. Mm, it's enough left, I hope. Yes, it's enough left <laughs> to explain how it works. I hope you see more from the explosion than me. So, yeah. And it's what I guess it is. It's an optical smoke detector. This looks like the photo resistor or the photo diode, whatever. And this looks like the um, IR LED. Maybe I can keep the IR LED, but I have also a lot of them. So you see, they're not pointing. Um, and you follow, it has a very small opening there. The light goes more like this. And the photoresistor is like this. So normally the beams, the beam doesn't go there. Why they do that like this? They could also like put them in one line. And when there is some smoke, the light doesn't go through. But that is not a good idea because it won't be very precise and often it won't detect the smoke. A better way to do it is to put it in these angles so the light doesn't go into the photodiode. It just go nowhere. And you see some of those things left. This is called a labyrinth. Really scratch it too bad. So light from outside doesn't go there it goes there and then we yeah it doesn't come there it's just reflected and has no chance to hit this diode but when some dust smoke is like dust or smoke particles come into the air the air get reflective so the air goes through these slits goes into the chamber and this air will now be reflective, or we would say in electricity, um, we conduct the uh, energy. So the light has a chance to be detected by this little puppy, then amplified and checked if it is not a false alert, and it will beep. Other way it beeps is batteries empty. Yeah, that is the blurred part. The blurred is stupid part at the I'm sorry, it's really not enough sleep last night. So that is what happened. And it's very easy and not a lot of fun to take apart because nothing inside. Okay, I get a nine volt power connector and even has no switch. You see now a little bit better how to implement the test switch. I know you should press the test switch. This doesn't change anything. It has something give a signal to the micro so the micro think it detects some particles okay yeah that's all for today thanks for watching i know the problem with the light um still working on it i ordered some things from Banggood, of course to make a better light but not sure when they arrive should arrive soon and see you on my next video i hope you enjoy it a little bit um, by the way, this was the battery inside, not the worst one, it's an energizer, um, alkaline, because this was for alkaline, this was not for light lithium batteries, so, yeah, it annoyed me this night, the rest will, yeah, maybe I keep the diets, but I really have enough of them, so, bye bye, see you next time after hopeful better night with more sleep and not searching for the empty smoke detectors bye bye